welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Humna Glam Studio. I just got done cleaning this entire room and organized it so if you guys want to see how I do that make sure you check that video out this video is just going to be a tour and how I have everything set up where I got everything from and all that good stuff so if you guys want to see that then just come on in and keep on watching so I want to start with this corner it's not a very appreciated corner because there's nothing really fancy about it but I'm obsessed with this mirror I just recently got it from home goods right this one's from home goods yeah it's just um, a gray mirror but this has changed my outfit game because I can finally see my full OOTD from this mirror and then I have like my outlet here <laughs> <laughs> That's where I charge my camera batteries. But anywho, you guys don't care about that stuff. Let's move on to this shelf. So this shelf has been with me forever. Since we moved to this house, this is like the first purchase I made for the glam room. And I just want to like give you guys a little rundown of how I have everything set up. So these bins are storage bins and I have like random stuff in each bin there's like hair stuff in here i have like extra beauty stuff and like giveaway stuff in there my bags i just set my bags up like this because i needed a place to put it and these aren't even all of my bags this is just what could fit there and then um this area right here is just for aesthetics honestly those shoes i wore those shoes at our wedding reception so i just had them on display and then this is my purse from our wedding reception too and then um, in the rest of these bins, I have like some jewelry and like camera gear and just stuff like that. In case anybody asks about the storage bins, because I definitely would, um, they're both from Walmart. And both times I got them, they were the only ones there. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make this a style and have one like rainbow and one gold. And I was totally cool with that. But these are both from Walmart and then the purple and then these like kind of wooden ones are from Target. It just makes it easy to like hide your clutter. So this shelf is from Ikea. Do you remember the name of it? <laughs> okay, I don't remember the name, but I'll have everything listed in the description bar below, I promise. Okay, let me talk about what's up top. Okay, so this teddy bear thing Danish gave me for our anniversary. So you guys probably remember that. And then this is the book that he made for me when he proposed. I've had this here forever. This is my favorite book ever. Okay, and then um, this turtle snow globe. You guys know I'm obsessed with turtles. Actually, I don't even know if you guys know I'm obsessed with turtles. But turtles are my spirit animal. So you will see turtles in every corner of my home and this isn't the only turtle in this room by the way there's several in here too and then this jasmine and aladdin was like i want to say i don't know if it was the first eid gift yeah, that you gave me yeah okay so the first eid that we ever had together danish gifted me this so I'm a very scenty person. I want to talk about my ottoman because this is like one of my favorite parts of this room. I literally just be chilling here. Actually, Danish, you be chilling here when I'm getting ready. <laughs> he just comes and like sits here. I was actually thinking about getting like a little, like a little sofa in this corner, but I didn't because I wasn't sure like how it would space out. But I feel like if I ever replace it, I'll put like a little day bed or something and then move this shelf to the other side. But that's like future. But anyway, this ottoman is from Wayfair and it was under $100 and it's awesome because it has storage. You see why there's no clutter on my floor? It's because it's all in here. I literally throw all my shit in here. There's like stuff that doesn't even make sense. This is not organized at all. But hey, look at what I found. I made this. This was my graduation cap. One of my eyeliners fell off. <laughs> and this is a MAC brush. But yeah, I keep this. Like I'm such a scenty, keepsake type of person. I will never get rid of these things. 
move on to this corner. I have this corner here blank for a reason. I always wanted to get corner shelves, but like when I film, I need this area to be completely blank because I just like having a blank wall. Now, before I used to have a shelf, but I just feel like it's therapeutic to watch like makeup videos where it's like just the makeup, nothing else, you know? Yeah, I want to talk about my rocks in case somebody's like, why do you have rocks on your window? When you have a nephew who paints rocks for you, you keep those rocks because it's a it's a commitment now. You have to keep the rocks. So this is where my rocks are. Actually, one of these is yours, Donishes. <laughs> one, one, of, one of these is yours, Donishes. <laughs> way past my bedtime i've been in here for hours all freaking day and i'm hot and i'm just trying to get through with this video i don't remember the name of this drawer do you danish um i think it's alex or alexa or some shit no alex is the other one yeah these are all alex drawers oh this is an alex drawer yeah, too it's the same style it's yeah. just a bigger one i don't know if they have a name change for it though but um you guys know that ikea has like so many different drawers I like the Alex drawers, but I actually really like this drawer a lot more in terms of space and stuff. The thing is that these drawers, they're wider. They're wider and they're thinner. So like you can see all your products. In the Alex drawers, they're narrow so you can't see all of them all the time. This is my favorite drawer set. Um, I have like a mixture of skincare, makeup, jewelry. Again, if you guys wanna see how I organized it and stuff, check that video out. So I have this drawer set here next to the window because I don't like, this doesn't block anything for me. So this works in this corner here. By the way, I have this frame that I got or this canvas that I got from Home Goods too. Danish saw it and he was like, you need this in your room. So that's what happened. Okay, so the most important part of this room is obviously the desk. This is where I film. This is where majority of my makeup stuff is. So let me talk to you guys about this little desk thing. This is the tabletop and two Alex drawers. So what we did is we got the two drawers separately and then the tabletop separately and then Donish like used wood glue and he glued the tabletop on top of these two drawers. And the thing is that the tabletop that we got for these two drawers it had a little bit of an overhang, so we left the overhang for the front part, not the back, because otherwise we would have been restricted. Like, it would have taken up more space. If I wanted to, I could put this desk against the wall. Obviously, I can't because I need my filming set up behind that. But um, I don't know if you guys remember, but when I first started like doing videos again after a really long time, which was last year, um, no, not even last year. Like the end of 2019, my room setup was different. So this table was in that corner and this wall was the wall that we used to, well, I used to film on. But um, I realized that, okay, so this room is in a really weird layout. So I had to make it work according to that. Like the window right here would have been good for natural lighting if I wanted to make videos with that being the background but my closet's there so i first had my table here and i would film with that being my background because the light from the window would come in like shine on my face if i filmed in the daytime and it just worked out for me like that but i realized that it wasn't enough because this window faces the woods anyway so there's not that much natural lighting in this room at all which is also why i have four lights so four lights is very excessive and you don't need that many lights especially if you're getting natural lighting but I, so i have four lights in this room it gets super hot after like two hours because of all the lights they're all daylights and they are not very friendly in terms of like they're not affordable a lot of them are not affordable like the diva ring light was not affordable and honestly the diva ring light is like one of my regretful purchases just because like you can find stuff cheaper that does the same thing but at that time everybody was on diva ring light so i was like what's so great about it when i was first starting out i thought i needed one 
So after I bought it, I just held on to it and yeah. So the way I have my lighting and filming and camera equipment set up is, I don't want to say professional because I've never actually checked, but this is just what works for me. I know that a lot of people do like the three point setup with like two care or two lights on each side and then one light above. I don't have like the the capacity to do that in this room so the way i have it set up is i have one here and then one which is behind me and these two came in a set from amazon and the brand is limo studio <laughs> no, i think they were like 80 bucks really yeah these were like 80 bucks both of them okay well they were like They're 80 cheap. bucks yeah. okay so it's not that cheaper bad. than obviously the diva ring right but they do take up a lot of space so that's one thing to keep in mind. I would say that if you can, you just need one light and that is a ring light, a really good ring light. And if you have a really good ring light, you don't need so many soft boxes, but if you have a bigger room and you're filming, then you need more light, obviously according to the size of the space that you're filming in. But the one thing that I regret is getting such big equipment because dealing with big equipment is hard and it like you can't move your room like now I'm stuck the way that I have everything set up here I can't ever change it okay so I have this monitor here because when I'm filming so I film with the camera on the tripod like that I like to see what I'm looking at like what's being recorded because so many times I've like sat down to record and then I'm not even recording. So the monitor has definitely changed the game. If you don't have a monitor set up while you're filming, you definitely should. Let me just show you like what it looks like. Since we're using a different camera to film right now anyway, this is the camera that I use to film my makeup videos. This is the Canon Rebel T6i. And I just use the kit lens. And honestly, um, the I learned recently in terms of cameras, that the camera that you use isn't as important as the lens that you use but when we got this camera like who was gonna buy an extra lens you know lenses are very expensive so i just turn the monitor on and then there's a cable and then this is what it looks like so it just makes filming a lot easier for me like i can sit here and then i can see what i'm actually filming and yeah, it's definitely a game changer. And then one more thing that I didn't mention that I also use for my um, filming setup is a mic. So the mic is on the camera that we're using currently. And the camera that we're using right now to film this video is the Canon M50. And the mic that we use is from Amazon. It is... Tagstar. Tagstar? That's what it's called. I don't know. It was just some random mic. And it does make a difference in videos. Whenever I'm not using my mic, it's really bad. That's when I'm usually sounding muffled and stuff. My vlog camera mic is really bad. And the good thing about the cameras that I have, though, are that they all take external mics. So I can just swap out the mic with any camera that I use. So that's really useful. And it's something to invest in if you're starting out or if you're just looking to up your game. And then the lens that we're using on the Canon M50 right now is the Sigma 16 millimeter lens. And that one we got separately. It didn't come with the kit at all. And then the mirror that I use while I'm getting ready I use um, the impressions vanity mirror I got this from my dress your face the master class that I went to it was in the goodie bag and I just use this like as the background mirror this is the main mirror that I use it's the Conair one I think I can't remember I think this is the Conair one but it's double-sided it really helps when I'm tweezing and stuff and this also has a light but honestly the light, the battery is pretty much always dying. I usually need the light though when I'm doing eye makeup, it's really useful. Okay, and then this thing is a new addition to my collection. This is what I like to call my TikTok light. <laughs> this is where I make my TikToks and stuff. Um, the light, honestly, I don't use it too much because it's already lit in here. It doesn't really make a difference when I'm doing phone videos, but the phone part of it is helpful. So I can like put my phone right here 
and then just sit and then make my TikTok videos. Because I don't film my TikTok videos on my camera. They're obviously just phone selfie videos. And this is really helpful for that. And this is from Amazon. So um, last light that I didn't tell you where it's from. This is from Amazon. This is the UB size. And I think this was like $30. So like recap on lighting and equipment that I use to film my makeup videos. So I have... The Diva ring light, I think this is the Nova, this is the, I want to say 18 to 20 inch, I can't remember exactly, but I don't recommend this, you don't need to spend that much money on it, especially if you're starting out. And then I have the two softbox lights from Limo Studio, um, they're from Amazon, and then both of these lights that I got from Amazon, they change color, so you can either do warm light, daylight, or cool light which is pretty cool because my other lights don't do that. Even this one, you can switch it and you can like choose the intensity of the light that you want. But my Diva ring light doesn't do that. It's just, you can just control the intensity. This is the dimmest. This is the highest. So honestly, this shit was not worth it. Um, <laughs> every time I think about it, I get so pissed. But look at how it looks without it. And then... Oh, and then when you turn it back on, watch. It doesn't turn on right away. You have to like punch it. That's what I do, seriously. Hello? It's too hot, so it's not gonna turn on right now. But when it does turn on, it's gonna be like an hour from now because that always happens. So whenever I turn this light on, that's it. I have to leave it on because if I turn it off and then come back and then start filming again, I don't know if the light's gonna turn on. So this chair is from Target, and this chair is so freaking uncomfortable, okay? I have not had a comfortable chair for this desk at all, ever. Seriously, I haven't. Like, every time I got a chair, it was uncomfortable because finding a chair that fits perfectly and, like, tucks underneath it is hard. Um, I do plan on replacing this soon, though, because this is just... This is not it, but it works for the purpose. One more thing I want to show you, this part is really cool. So the outlets, it just makes it easy. Like I have my charger and then um, when I'm doing my hair, because who's gonna like duck down and use the wall outlet, right? Just connect it and have a little extension right here so that I can plug my heat tools here and do my hair. See, it makes it easy. You need things in your life that are easy, not complicated. And then um, I just set this up, so I just wanna do it, but isn't this so freaking satisfying? It's from Target. You guys need this, okay? You need this. And they had a bigger one too. I got inspired from that show, The Home Organization, um, that Netflix show, Home Organization. I forgot what home it was called. Or something something like that, called. but I got inspired by, no, The Home Edit. Yeah, the I home edit. I got inspired by that because they had like these turntable organizers for everything. And then I just leave the brushes that I'm using at the time out on my desk to make it easy. But okay, for aesthetics, I have them naked. But always cover your brushes if you leave them on your table or else you're going to get dust on them and you're going to put that dust on your face. That's not cute. Okay, there's something that I want to show you that's really important to have, especially if you're afraid of bugs. But um... I have this um, spider and ant and roach killer in case Donish doesn't come in time and there's a bug and there has been a bug just hanging near the window and I'm too afraid to kill it so I spray it to death. So this stays in this corner. That's what that corner is for. Okay so for my camera I have two extra backup batteries and then I also use a remote. So whenever I'm like sitting here and I want to start filming, I press my button instead of having to get up and hit the record button. It just makes it easier because a lot of times like my camera will time out or something if I reach the time limit and then I can just hit the button instead of having to get up and like push the button manually. So I just keep this in my drawer and then um, I just wanted to show you guys, give some love to this little canvas painting thing over here that Mina made. Mina made this for me. This is supposed to be me and Donna, she said. Actually, she wasn't trying to make us, but when she made us, my parents said that it looked like us. So she was like, okay, I'll just give it to Hamna then. But she made this by melting crayons and I thought it was super cute and cool. So 
I just have this hung up right here. This is it for my makeup slash glam room studio, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I call it the glam studio, but that's it for this room tour. There's not much to it. I like to keep everything simple. I hate clutter. I hate having little things hanging about. So like I just hide stuff in corners or <laughs> in the little, um, what is this thing called again? The ottoman. The ottoman bench. The ottoman bench. <laughs> that's what you called it. <laughs> and then my little storage bins. Dude, being Daisy is hard, okay? Because you have to add Daisy jewelry, Daisy clothes. This room is what I like to consider my Daisy room getting ready because I also have all of my Daisy clothes in this closet. And I'm really embarrassed to show you. I'm only going to show you like one half of it. But this is how I have my Daisy clothes closet set up because there's no other way. I need to figure this out and one day I will. But this. This is like the most useful part of this closet. And this isn't even all of my shoes because it doesn't fit in here. <laughs> so um, Areej gave me this, my sister, uh, and she was like, you're gonna need this. And I had this since our apartment days. I've had this since then because in the apartment, like imagine, you know, me and Zanish are sharing a closet, but then throwing Daisy clothes into that mix. So I had this and it was pretty useful. So I just use this for my shoes this is actually you don't even have your daisy clothes there they were like in suitcases yeah like somewhere at my mom's house <laughs> <laughs> and they still are in suitcases and some of them still are at my mom's house but yeah she tried she came over one day and we like went through this entire closet trying to organize it and it just didn't happen so this is going to be a future project one day so that's it for my glam studio tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the furniture or any of the pieces, anything I use to organize or whatever the case is, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.